But we talked about this with some of our last guests, embracing culture, even if it's not part of your own heritage. That's just as true with the most authentic Oktoberfest celebration in the region. And it starts tomorrow night. Look who came in, Frank Fryhout. He's with the German American Society. Always <laughs> great to have you on. We oh, have you Frank. on. Is it just once a year or do you no. have two events throughout the year? We try couple, to get a couple times. A couple times a year. Going on. Frank yeah. comes I've, by and then he likes just about everything we put on Facebook. You are like our most enthusiastic <laughs> friend online and we love you for it, Frank. It's good to see you. It's a fun show. Every time you come on, I've always waited for my pair of lederhosen. I thought you'd bring in a pair of lederhosen so you're not the only guy sitting there with lederhosen on on the segment. We're next, looking for the right elk. Just to <laughs> next, get to right <laughs> you don't want to see my legs in those things anyway. Uh, but it's remarkable how long this event has been going on 132 years in Omaha. That's right that's yeah. right it's, it's been fantastic and we've paired it with this Oktoberfest uh, festival and it's just grown and grown in fact this year we've added two big fest tents out front to go mm -hmm. with our big fest tent out back mm -hmm. and this will give us a lot more visibility and a lot okay. more seating capacity. All right so you've expanded that part of things I know you've expanded the entertainment part of things Definitely. too before we get into some of those specifics here Frank um, maybe talk broadly about Friday night and then Saturday and some of the highlights that are happening between the two days. Sure. Friday night, the evenings are usually more adult, kind of the, mm -hmm. the music and the food and, and uh, the beer, great beer. And uh, Saturday afternoon, we've got some kids game, more fa family oriented. We'll have the Husker game on, uh -huh. going both in the uh, radio in the tent and, of course, TV down in our Rats Galler. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then the evening again, uh, good stuff for, for the adults. And the music, we've added quite a variety. Not only do we have the, the traditional Blas Capella brass band, big 10-piece brass band, German style. We've got a German band, style band out of Minnesota with a 13-foot alpine horn. Oh, We've wow. We've got the traditional polka with Barry Boyce and Bobby like, Z. Like, is that horn from, like, the Ricola commercials? Yeah, is it similar that like that. Uh -huh. Yep, yep. And he'll play some great tunes on there. And then we've even mixed in a little rock and roll and a little polka fusion. Friday night, a little polka fusion, polka police, and then Riptide Refugees Saturday night. So a little something for everybody. Yeah. yeah. Are these are these bands from the, from the area? I know you got the band from Minnesota, but are most of them local? Or? Uh, most of them local. The, the, ten, the Blas Capella band. Festhaus Musikanten is out of mm -hmm. Kansas City, and Al Alpensterna is out of Minnesota. So uh -huh. we've kind of tried to mix it up. Okay, Frank, as if that's not enough, because you know people want to drink stuff and they want to eat stuff. So when it comes to that first category, um, you've got two dozen, more than, yep. beers on tap. At least and 24 German beers on a tap. A wine tasting, which I'm really intrigued by this idea. Are they German wines? Yep, all German wines from various regions uh, of Germany. And uh, just beautiful flavors, both white and red wine. Uh -huh. uh, so we'll have that Saturday. It will be a fantastic feature. We're, we're going to have that in two locations. Yeah, I think, yeah, the Germans get known for their beer, but they also do have some great wines mm -hmm. that come great out of the country wines, yeah. there, too. That's cool. Uh, folk dancing. Yep, we'll have the folk oh, dancing. You're part of the folk dancing, aren't That's you, right. Frank? That's uh, right. Sherry and I, my wife and I, we, da we dance with them. We've got a, a great group of kids that dance. 3 o'clock, you see the adults and kids. 6 o'clock, you'll see the, the adults dance. Uh -huh. That Mix that in with the great food that we've got. Yeah. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, which food, Frank, Mike? Where we well, I saw it. Was, it. was it chicken and dump? What was that? We've got, we've, we've got a chicken dinner, and they, we have to do it in a half chicken because uh -huh. it's so tender, it just falls off the bone. Wow. So the, a lot of people get that for two people. But we'll have the pig dinner, and we roast some pigs. Chicken and pigs will be there Saturday. Uh -huh. Friday night, it's the schnitzel, the bratwurst, uh -huh. currywurst, and whatnot. And do you make it all, or most of it, here? Yep. Because when you say it's authentic, that's part of what people yep, love. Yep, we have a rotisserie in the back. We do all the cooking. We ro can ro put the six pigs out there. Mm -hmm. We can put hundreds of chickens on uh -huh. there at the same time. We do the schnitzel. Wow. We do the, our verse club actually makes the bratwurst. Uh -huh. We're doing over 3,000 brats. Uh-huh. So. Whoa, Frank. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. And we're looking at some of the images from years past. How many folks do you typically get for this event? It's been growing, uh, depending on the year, somewhere between three and 5,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, uh, we, they rotate through both Friday and, and all day Saturday. Mm -hmm. Friday's 5 to midnight, Saturday's uh, 11.30 to midnight. Mm -hmm. What is it? Why did you get in touch with your heritage and become a part of this? There's a, mm -hmm. Listen, there's a lot of Germans out there, right? It's not like yep. the Italians. There were only a few <laughs> thousand that came over. But Germans are everywhere. Not all of them participate in their heritage and, and getting to know their culture like you Yeah, do. you know, the, the Germans, like many cultures, kind of assimilated over the years, but there's still this this pride in, in the, the fun aspects mm -hmm. of the culture. And uh, Sherry and I just kind of discovered the club, and it's been fantastic. All the different sub-organizations you can, mm -hmm. you know, from folk dancing to a little air rifle club to the brewers uh, that brew mm -hmm. beer, the verse club making sausage. 
um, different auxiliary clubs. It's just a, a great camaraderie mm -hmm. at the German American Society. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to be German no. to come. This In is fact, the point we we're talking yeah. with Diva and Jusenia about earlier. You'd love for anybody to be there, wouldn't you, Frank? That's right. We've got a lot of members that aren't German, but everybody's invited to come out to mm -hmm. the party. We really throw that on for all of the Nebraska. Let's underscore something about Saturday, because you mentioned it, but folks might have been loading the dishwasher and missed it. <laughs> you're going to have the game on. Yep. You don't have to miss Nebraska, Oregon, if you're going to Oktoberfest. No on matter of fact, it's a great way to watch the game. Yeah, uh, yeah. With, with a lot of Definitely. other people. Right, a brought and a beer and mm -hmm. right. kick great back food, with good friends. Beer. It's five dollars to get in, but if you bring your military ID, you can get in for free. Okay, and they've got plenty of parking there, so don't worry about Love that. Love Oktoberfest. Like, like I said, all these ethnic festivals make Omaha mm -hmm. a vibrant city. It's, it's fun. Right. Yeah. Thank right. you, Frank. Thanks for coming, Frank. Have a great weekend. You too. Well, a bit of blue collar on.